Good morning, paper crafters. This is Kelly. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm sharing something a little different, and that is my Miss Maker Mini Happy Planner. And I got this a couple of, well, actually I got this about a month ago, um, using the rebate card that I got from the purchase of my tires. You know, so something practical, something fun, but yet still really practical, and you'll see why in a minute. I participate or would like to participate in a lot of the card making, paper crafting, scrapbooking, mixed media challenges, but I always forget when they're due or I forget the new one is released until it's too late to participate and turn something in. So this lets me keep track of all the different challenges that are out there. I've got a key that I made on the inside that tells me uh, what the stickers are. Some of them once they were shrunk down were kind of hard to read so I created a key in the front. The pencil pouch did not come with this. I found this at Michael's and personally I thought the $14, almost $14 they wanted for it was a little steep. It came with the page flags, a notepad, a roll of washi, and three or four binder clips. But I got it on the 60% off sale so it only cost me four bucks and I could I could deal with that. I'm not a pink person, but I seem to have gravitated towards the pinks and the blues with Miss Maker. So I keep my Fusion, Exfusion uh, Pilot erasable pens in pink and blue in here. And I also keep these page markers. Now, technically, they're not page markers. They're hair, they're hair clips. And I get them um, four or five to a package at Dollar Tree. And they're really easy to do. And all you do is they just mark your page just that easy and so I've got a pink one and a blue one here if I need to mark something that I need to remember to go back to and I took this and I took a piece of packaging acetate and I attached it with uh, tear and tape and then used my uh, happy planner punch or actually my tool punch to attach it to the back I, when I bought the planner, I got the Miss Maker um, Editions Pack, and I took a couple of the things and I ran them through the laminator and made page markers for those. So Miss Maker marks my monthly page. Now you'll see all the different little stickers here. What I did was I took, if you go to blogs or websites, you'll see that they've got participation buttons or I1 buttons on their sidebar, and I took one from each of the pages that I wanted to play on. And I just shrunk it down to uh, fit a one by one inch by one inch Avery label. <coughs> now I don't use the lab the Avery label. If I had a brother scan and cut, or I wanted to use the the full size one inch cube, but I use the one inch as a guide. And I run these through, and I printed them off full sheet sticker paper, and then just cut them apart with my paper trimmer. Didn't take any time at all, really. And then. I can put the stickers where they belong on the page on the month, such as uh, Penny's Paper Crafting Challenge releases a new challenge every Wednesday. And so I will look at the challenge if it's one I want to participate in, say if I want to participate on the one on, the, on Wednesday. Goodness, that's tomorrow already. I will go over to Wednesday, the 16th, and I will write the challenge in and I will write when it's due. And when I'm in the habit of looking at my Miss Maker every week, then I'll know that that is coming up. So she'll list here that uh, the Penny's Paper Challenge comes out today. I'll write what it is. Then when I do my planning, um, when I go back through my daily planner later in the week, I'll make sure that I write on like a day or two before it's due that it's coming up so I can kind of keep an eye on making sure I get that out. The chick was a challenge. Um, the chick represents our paper, uh, our card chicks group on Split Coast Stampers. And once a month, at the first of every month, one of us is responsible 